In this video, you'll learn the basic first steps to systemizing and scaling your online business so you can create more free time while increasing profits. The bottom line is this, you can't begin to move your business forward until you establish which direction you're heading in. Take some time, yes, literally schedule it into your calendar to give some serious thoughts about where you are right now and where you want to get to by the next year. The idea is to start identifying the tasks that can be systemized and ultimately delegated to somebody else. That means that you can focus on more important things. Some examples include preparing and sending client invoices, bookkeeping and organizing your records, customer support and answering the most common questions, preparing and sending email newsletters, and preparing coaching proposals. The next step is to start documenting these procedures. Now that you've identified a few tasks that can be systemized, it's time to begin documenting the step-by-step -step procedures of those tasks. These procedures will become the backbone of your business. They'll serve as the operating manual to keep your business performing. Your procedures will become a key asset as future employees will rely on these to execute their jobs. It will also make the process of hiring and training new employees totally seamless, avoiding the usual setbacks that come with employee turnover. When documenting procedures, the key is to be as detailed as possible. No detail is too obvious or self-explanatory. Now, delegating tasks. You'll be able to delegate a whole bunch of business tasks to software, and that can just help you do your job more automatically. Now, we've listed some softwares that we recommend. So, example, for social media, for email, for client management, and for client support. They're below here. Now, once you've automated as many things as you can with software, it becomes time to hire your first employee or virtual assistant. You can check out some of the top virtual assistant companies that we've listed below. So what do you do from here? Well, you as the business owner can stop being tied down by working in your business and now you can start to work on your business. With your new found freedom, you can spend more time focusing on things like transitioning from a one-man operation to hiring a team. You can start transitioning from client work to products. You can start improving your products or creating new ones. You can enjoy some free time with your friends and your family and overall get a better work-life balance.